So my name is Merritt Moore and I am off to the physics department. Uh, this is my daily trek along. So here we go, I'm at the building. We're at the physics building. My fancy job title is ballerina quantum physicist, but in reality I'm a stressed out, sleep deprived graduate student. I first went into a dance class when I was 13 and it was like I was forced to go into the dance class because my mom said that I had terrible posture. And I was walking around like my grandfather and I had to take a ballet class and I was like, no, I don't want to be in pink dice. Like, this is awful. But then I, I totally fell in love with it because um, I think also as a kid, I, I didn't really speak much. I didn't speak till I was three. And even then I was very, um, I used, I think my body language rather than words specifically. And so when I fell into the dance class, I was like, oh my gosh, this feels so incredibly natural. I've been doing this now 16 years, I, the dance and physics, and they've been very separate. We're to the point where I've like hidden that I've danced from the physics world and hidden that I really do physics from the dance world. And so now, though, know, I'm finally able to do projects in, that combine the two, whether it be like virtual reality projects um, or next month working with like uh, choreographing a dance with robots at the V&A. Like those kind of things get me so excited because finally I can merge the two worlds together. Typical day, I wish I had a typical day because it would make my life so much easier. Um, it really depends on Oh, what's most pressing. So experiments take priority. So welcome to my lab. We have this apparatus that we have the photons coming from upstairs and it goes all the way down to this tiny little chip all the way at the bottom to detect the single photon. I'm running late for the bus as I'm because I'm always running late. I'm going to the physics lab today. And with my experiment I have two um, very technical components that unfortunately don't like to work at the same time. <laughs> so if they are working at the same time, that means I just cut out everything and that's all I work on. So I've, I've spent three weeks in the lab, probably 21 hours a day, changing this knob like every 20 minutes and, the, and literally like sleeping up at the lab um, just to get the experiment done. But when that's not, when I can ease off from that a little bit, which is nice, then if I have a performance, that would be the next one not priority. And so I'll do extra training, which means I'll wake up early, my, really early. I'll start stretching when I'm brushing my teeth. I'll start like doing my feet exercises on the way to the gym. And then at the gym, I'll do two hours before I come to the lab, work at the lab, go for a run during lunch, come back to the lab. You know, every hour I'll go to the stairways and do a stretch or like a little bar. And then at the end of the day, I'll do another class. And then, or I'll have to commute to London back and forth like four times a week or something crazy like that. So I'm on the bus again between Oxford and London as I normally am. And I like the seats all the way in the back because then I can be in the full splits as I commute and I can stretch. Oh, what's next? I don't know! <laughs> so I'm going to dance full time, go back to that, so training starts very soon, um, probably next week. And then um, continue with the research, like continue all of the projects that I do with dance. I want to bring in the physics aspects and the science aspects. If I were to describe myself in three words, I'd say I'm first and foremost a sister. Like, I, I'm passionate about physics and dance, but if anything, if she gave me a ring, like it, I'd stop everything and I'd fly out there like in a second. Um, other, this number two would be probably someone who I love life and I love people, and then a jumble of like curious, adventurous, and crazy. 